Welcome to Bakerstreet.coasters live. So today it is a bit early because why not? Um, anyways, so today's video is about what we could expect in the UK uh, theme parks in 2024. Now, as we know, aren't we are officially in 2024, so of course I'm not thinking too far into the future. But we already know some key dates in when parks are open and we know some key dates in when some new rides are open, which is significantly good only because well it's good to know when wires are open um okay so where to start we have got 16th of march which is in a few weeks actually where alton towers the biggest uh, theme park in the uk is open and along with that the 30 40 is it 40 year old 40 year old ride it's 30 30 year old ride nemesis is also opening at the same time on the 16th of March, which I think is pretty good. Now, Nemesis has been closed for quite a long time, so, you know, having it open um, this time, having its new retrack, I would love to see how it goes. I am I am so looking forward to it, but I won't be there for the 16th, unfortunately. I'll be there for the following week, which is the 23rd. Now, on the 23rd is also a key date, because um, not only is it Alton Towers' event of in the dark rides in the dark but i mean um the other ones also ride in the dark um so yeah not only is the fact that they are both ride in the dark on the 23rd of march we have fort park opening and along with it its new area the big easy boulevard now as we know the big easy boulevard used to be where the angry birds area used to be um well it's not there anymore of course because they kind of lost license to it so uh, instead, Fort Park went along and went, OK, let's make it the big, easy boulevard and let's just rebrand some rides. So what they've done is they've got full these, they've got a cinema, which I think contains live actors. Which I'm a bit confused how this will work. We have Detonator, of course, 100 and something odd feet in the air, which yet again was named Detonator. Formerly named Detonator is still named Detonator, just a different theme. And then you've got the bumper cars, which are totally the Dodrums, which are totally forgot what it's called but um yet again it it's significantly good that that area has got a re remake i have got a question in the chat uh does alton towers have any uh plans for water rides haha <laughs> so um on about the water rides i'm not quite sure congo river rapids as we know last year did have the uh waterfalls back on which was significantly good because you know we haven't had them on for years like ever since 2016 15 um so it is quite good that Alton Towers have had Congo River Rapids back on, and I think that's the only water ride in the park alongside Battle Galleons. Yet, in a, yet again, we see Battle Galleons open for Pirate Takeover, but the water wasn't on because, you know, it might freeze, as they call it, freezing water. Um, but having the fact that uh, Alton Towers haven't got any plans is pretty sad because I'd love to see a new water ride. Now, there is a high chance that we'll, there will be no water rides um, coming to Alton Towers. Or, it, yet again, we can see them closing more because they are very, very high maintenance. They need a lot to run and the cost is just too expensive now. Now, as we know, Alton Towers did have a water ride, which was the Flume Unplugged. And it was sponsored by Imperial Leather back in 2000. It's not there anymore, which... I think pretty sad, but yet again, it balances out because it's like, we've now got the Wicker Man in place, and yeah. Oh, on about the Wicker Man too. So, not only the fact that the park opens on the 16th of March, Alton Towers, um, we also have the Wicker Man Flames back on, which we haven't seen last year, because I don't know why, but we just didn't see it on last year. Um, we also have the Curse of Manor. Now, not many people have been on about that, but I'm not quite sure how that's changed. Nemesis Subterra will be all opening again. We've got Galacticus Retheme. I don't know if that's open. Or, it's not a retheme. It's just a new board and a new... It, it's basically just redone. Like, it's all repainted and everything. It's pretty cool. Yet again, on about repaints too. On the 23rd of March, you will also witness um, Fort Park at its major peak of, you know, maintenance and... Uh, the colour because they've painted over the winter they've painted every single little bit of the whole entire park um in their original colours but they've touched it up a little bit more which I think's fabulous. Um so yeah we have the twenty third. Now the twenty second uh the twenty second of March is also Chessington's opening. Now I'd love to see what 
what could happen with Chessington World of Adventures as they haven't got anything new this year because they had Jumanji last year. But yet again, yet again, I'd still like to see what they have done around the park as I haven't been since, well, after their Halloween event. So, you know. Um, and then we've got Legoland officially opening. Now, Legoland, of course, is already open at the moment. It's just the whole parks. Now, um, with those in mind, later on in spring, we have quite a few different rides opening and a lot of roller coasters, such as Hyperia at Fort Park, which will be in spring. So I don't know when, don't know what date yet, but it will be the tallest roller coaster in the UK at a, um, at a height of 236 feet. We have the Mini Figure Speedway, which is the first ever Lego coaster, um, Lego dueling roller coaster. It will be the first... Um, First roller coaster they've had in a decade, I think, and also it will be well. It features the tallest mini Lego minifigure in the world, which I think is pretty weird. But at the same time, it's cool because the tallest me um, Lego minifigure in the world is already there, and it's named Roxy. So you know it's pretty cool to go and uh, see that. And now nobody knows what if there's going to be an IP to this Legoland Julian coaster. Oh, I'm not sure either, but if there is, I'd love to see it. Um, and then, and then we have more rides opening. We have a new refurbishment at Legoland also with the uh, the Lego City Deep Sea Adventure where we've literally just had a retheme from it being Atlantis to Legoland Deep Sea Adventure. But I'd love to see what they've done to the, uh, to that place because, you know, as we know, it is a Silo Center as well. So it's like a ride, Silo Center ride because you're in submarines and it goes underwater. I'd love to see what happens. I hope they don't take away the ride, which yet again, if they do take away the ride, uh, <laughs> what makes it so unique anymore? It'd be very boring. I do love the ride concept of the Sea Life Centre and I love how they maintain it. Yet again, that is another water ride and there is a high possibility they could just throw it all away and go, okay, replacing it with something like Shark Bay Reef or the uh, Sea Life Aquarium at Chessington or I don't know what Legoland has. No, I don't know what Fort Park have. I don't think Fort Park have the sea life. Um, but yes, no, it is always, always good to see stuff being refurbished, uh, repainted, rebranded, rethemed, redone, recreated, re re reopening. How many more re can I do? Anyways, um, so yes, I think that is is for me. That is it is from no that is it for me um that's all we have coming up this year of theme parks not oh also not forgetting that four part uh alton towers on the 16th 23rd and 30th 31st first i don't know it's like 31st or first of feb no it's the 31st of jan um all those three will have the new event or new fit event where you get to ride the um, roller coasters in the dark because it's open till 8 p.m. which is quite cool not open till 9 not like scarefest which yet again is coming up this year so i'd love to see what happens at scarefest um, they don't have the they don't have uh, mardi gras this year and they don't have the festival thrills which i think is pretty weird because they always do that but what happens after the after the dark uh, and then you have um halloween you have the fireworks and then you have Christmas event, but there's nothing planned for the summer. Yet again, if we do look at Fort Park, they do have their, um, they don't have Carnival this year, which is pretty sad. They have Mardi Gras, they have uh, Fight Nights, and there's another one. Mm, I don't know the other one, I've, it's totally gone out of my head. And then at Chesterton, of course, we have their Roller Fest. Their Easter egg, their Easter one, I don't know what that's called, e Ex Excellence, something like that. Um, and then you have their Winter's Tales in the winter and their Halloween at uh, October. So, all good things to look forward to in the future for the Merlin Parks and attractions. Um, also, at Lego, uh, at Cadbury World, I know it's not a roller coaster, no, it's not a theme park, but at Cadbury World, also by spring, we will have the new Cadabra ride, which is named Fredo's Magical Adventure, so I'll be looking forward to that too, and I'll be vlogging the whole thing. So, if you do, if you do like what I do, please remember to subscribe. Um, and, yeah, tell me what you think, what are you looking forward to in the future for 
2024 theme parks. Um, so yeah, smile always, guys. Bye. Oh no, I can't leave.